Hey everybody and welcome back to another tips and tricks episode on my channel. Today we'll talk about batting stats. If you want to know more about pitching stats, then you can check out my channel or just click the link that should pop up in the top right corner right now. Okay, let's jump right into it. You can see all the stats we'll talk about right here on this customized view. Let's begin with the absolute basics and then we'll work our way up to the most used Sabre matrix stats. Uh, PA stands for plate appearances, AB stands for at bats. An official at bat comes when a batter reaches base via a fielder's choice, hit, or an error, or when a batter is put out on a non sacrifice. Uh, whereas a plate appearance refers to each completed turn batting regardless of the result. So if a player reaches first base because of a walk, it will count as a plate appearance but not as an at bat. H stands for hit, 2B stands for doubles. Uh, a double is the act of a batter striking the pitched ball and safely reaching second base. 3B stands for triples. It's like doubles, but instead of reaching second base, the player reaches third base. HR stands for home runs. And I guess if you play a game like OOTP, you at least know what a home run is. Uh, RBI stands for runs batted in. Uh, it is a statistic that credits a batter for making a play that allows a run to be scored. For example, if the batter bats a base hit, which allows a teammate on a higher base to reach home and so score a run, then the batter gets credited with an RBI. Uh, BB stands for bases on balls, or most commonly known as a walk. Uh, it happens when a batter receives four pitches that the umpire calls balls. The batter is then allowed to walk to first base. AVG stands for batting average. Um, on one of the oldest and most universal tools to measure a hitter's success at the plate, it is determined by dividing a player's hits by his total at bats. For example, if I hit um, if I get a hit in three at bats, then my batting average would be 0 0.333. No one has 0 0.333, but I guess you get what I'm saying. BABIP. Um, BABIP means batting average on balls and play. Um, it measures a player's batting average exclusively on balls hit into the field of play, removing outcomes not affected by the opposing defense, so namely home runs and strikeouts. For example, um, a hitter who goes 2 for 5 with a home run and a strikeout would have uh, a 0.333 Babbitt because he's 1 for 3 on the balls he put in play. I always use this statistic to check if a player is lucky or unlucky because a high Babbitt usually indicates that those numbers will go down any time while a low BABIP obviously indicates the opposite. Uh, so a good thing to check is the career BABIP of a player to determine how lucky he really is. Uh, let's check one guy, Justin Turner. He's got a few years played, I guess. <laughs> uh, batting stats. There it is. Career batting stats. There's BABIP. Uh, and there's his career BABIP. 0.318. So you can see he got a bit lucky in 2020, very lucky in 2014, uh, unlucky in 2011. So uh, if it's the current season and he's got a 0.304 uh, BABIP after, I don't know, 100 plate appearances, you can go check and see, oh, all right, it's quite close to the 318. So He's not lucky or unlucky or anything. Good. Uh, next up is OBP, which stands for on base percentage. It measures how frequently a batter reaches base. Uh, it is the ratio of the batter's time on base, TOB, so the sum of hits, walks, and times hit by pitch, um, to the number of plate appearances. So if I get a walk and a hit in five uh, plate appearances, my OBP would be 0.400. Slugging percentage, SLG, is a measure of the batting productivity of a hitter 
and is usually um, used to determine how good of a power hitter the player is. It is calculated as total bases divided by at bats through the formula you can see on the screen right now, uh, where AB is the number of at bats for a given player, and 1B, 2B, 3B, and HR are the numbers of singles, doubles, triples, and home runs, respectively. Next up, OPS is on base plus slugging percentage. It is calculated as the sum of a player's on base percentage and slugging percentage. It is used to show the ability of a player both to get on base and to hit for power. So sometimes you have guys who can only get on base, sometimes you have guys who can only hit for power. With this stat, you can find the players that can do both. Uh, weighted on base aver average, WOBA. Um, is a version of an on base uh, of on base percentage that accounts for how a player reach base instead of simply considering whether a player reach base. The value for each method of reaching base is determined by how much that event is worth in relation to projected runs scored. For example, a double is worth more than a single. For instance, in 2014, um, a home run was wor worth 2.101 times on base while a walk was worth 0.69 times on base. So a player who went 1 for 4 with a home run at a walk would have a WOBA of 0.558 because 2.101 plus 0.69 divided by 5 plate appearances is 0.558. Uh, 330 is a round average. So if you sort by WOBA, you can see we have kind of average here. This is way above average. This is kind of below average. Um, next up, runs created uh, was invented to estimate the number of runs a hitter contribu contributes to his team. Um, but weighted runs created is an improved version of runs created, which is based off weighted on base average. Stay with me here. <laughs> Um, it takes a player's WOBA against the league um, WOBA and factors in the number of plate appearances. And then there is WRC+. Uh, it's adjusted weighted runs created. <laughs> and it takes the weighted runs created and adjusts the number to account for important external factors like ballparks or ERA. And it adjusts so a WRC plus of 100 is league average and 150 would be 50% above league average. Let's sort by WRC plus right here. And you can see Will Smith was 54% uh, better than league average last year in terms of WRC. Now let's take a look. He only had 114 at bats, 137 plate appearances. At Corey Seager, who had uh, 230 32 plate appearances and 212 at bats had a WRC plus of 146. So if I had to choose between those two, I would take Corey Seager because he has proven more and more at bats or almost similar in more at bats. What I always do, I always sort by WRC plus and then go from there to check all the other stats. But for a quick overview, just sort by WRC plus or WOBA. It usually doesn't change that much. Okay, and that's it for the batting stats video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.